Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. It is really heartening to see that many tools, many efforts, many scripts are being created to make things simplified when it comes to running large language models locally. Llama file is one such project which lets you distribute and run LLMs with a single file. The major objective of this project is to make open LLMs or open source LLMs much more accessible to both developers and end users. I already have covered this Llama file in detail on my channel some uh, last year I guess and then I already have done various other videos on it so if you're interested just search with Llama file and you should be able to watch the whole slew of it. But for the purpose of this video I'm going to introduce you to a new feature or a new tool from Llama file called as whisper file which is um, a new tool to turn or convert speech from audio files very easily locally and with a simple packaged file. Whisper file is a high performance implementation of OpenAI's Whisper model created by Mozilla Ocho as part of the Llama file project. It is based on the whisper.cpp software written by uh, Georgi Jashanov. This model uh, uses Whisper model behind the scene which is open source and readily available and I think one of the best model when it comes to uh, text to speech or speech to text. The model is packaged into executable weights which they call whisper files and it makes it very easy to use the model on Linux, Mac OS, Windows, FreeBSD, OpenBSD, NetBSD for AMD64 and also on the ARM architecture. So in this video I'm going to show you how you can get it installed locally and then we will see how you can do uh, or how can you obtain a transcription from an audio mp3 file. It also supports WAV file by the way. Before I do that let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices I will drop the link to their website in video's description plus I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. Now, I am using NVIDIA RTX A6000, let me show you on my terminal 2, so this is open 2 I am using and this is the NVIDIA RTX A6000 which I am using. But as this whisper file is very lightweight, you don't need that much GPU, even you can run it on CPU easily. It will be slow but it can work easily. Let me clear the screen. So first up let's grab the whisper uh, file. So maybe let me just create a directory I'll just call this whisper and I'll go into that and let's use a wget command to download it. Let's wait for it to get downloaded. That is done. And you can see that this is a file. The size is very small if I show you the size of it. It is just 300 meg. Next up, let's download an audio file or you can use any audio file from your local system, doesn't matter. It is again a very simple small audio file which I have downloaded. That is done. Let me clear the screen and show you the content of the directory. There you go. So we have two files. One is a whisper llama file and then we have an audio file. Let's also change the um, llama file to executable. So you see I'm just making it executable because here it is not executable so if I if you do ls-ltr now you will see that this file is now executable so you can run it and that is done let me clear the screen and now in order to run it all you need to do is to run this from this current directory this is the file llama file which are, we are running on this file and then I am using uh, this dash pc flag so with dash pc this is used for plain text output with timestamps and confidence scores. So when you run this with dash PC flag, you can get a more detailed output from a whisper including timestamps and confidence scores which can be useful for further analysis or processing. So let me run it now. So you see that it is running and it is doing all the color coding one. And it is very fast. How good is that? Amazing, amazing stuff. And you see you are getting timestamps and then you are getting the score. Amazing. So I will just let it run so that you could see. And if I just quickly scroll to the top, you see 
when I ran it, just like in a llama file style, it has given us some of um, the configuration and stat statistics that what it is using, what is the model size, and then KV and then compute buffer and all that stuff, sub system information, and then it has started the uh, transcription. And there you go, it already finished it, and you can easily see it that how quick and easy and fine it is. So this is our file here, amazing stuff. And you can of course redirect the output to any of the text file. For example, if you're running this, you can just put this and you can say uh, transcript.txt or whatever file you want to give it and it is going to put it in your file or you can redirect the output to any other uh, device too. Good stuff. Let me clear the screen. Next up let's also try it out with the wave file which is another audio format so i just have this sample wave file so let me run it with a wave file and i'm just again uh, doing the score confidence score and there you go so it's a very small file and it has perfectly transcribed it with and so my fellow americans ask not what your country can do for you and ask what you can do for your country great stuff Next up, I'm just trying to test its uh, multilingual capability. So I have just downloaded this um, Spanish audio file, which contains some of the poems. So let's see if it is able to do it. So let's wait for it. There you go. So there is Spanish for you. Looks great. Amazing stuff. And if you're wondering about all of these parameters there, for example, if you're wondering about what this fallback is, fallback refers to a situation where the model cannot accurately transcribe a portion of the audio using its primary transcription method. And when that happens, the model falls back to a secondary method or approach to try and transcribe the audio. And then similarly, there is encoding, decoding and a lot of other stuff, which is uh, uh, you know relevant to the audio file which we have given it. And, but you can see it is quite multilingual. Now let's try to uh, see if it can understand some of the lesser known languages. Next up, let's try out the Persian or the Farsi language, which is uh, quite commonly spoken mainly in Iran and uh, Azerbaijan and a lot of those countries. It is not that lesser known, but uh, let's try it out. Uh, so what I'm going to do, I have just uh, downloaded this MP3 file, which contains some uh, poetry from Omar Khayyam. Omar Khayyam um, was a Persian poet, very famous. He was not only a poet, but also a mathematician, astronomer and philosopher from Khorasan, Iran. And he is very, very well known for his poetry, which explores the themes of love, wine and the fleeting nature of life. Anyway, so let's try to see if it understands Persian. Let's wait for it. There you go. So you can see that it is very, very quick in terms of processing the uh, file, which is really cool. There you go. It has started it. Cool. Amazing stuff. Amazing. great stuff so i could just go on and on but you can see that now you don't need to buy any transcription tool uh, no matter which languages you are using you can simply go in and then just use this whisper file from um, llama file and then just do it on your own local system i will drop the link to it in video's description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.